Hi everyone, welcome to another uh, video review of AI Coding Platform. Today we are going to review Emergent. Um, and you can see the UI I've logged in with my credentials. Um, and you can see the uh, initial, the home screen and the UI um, and various projects which you have completed or already have built the app will be shown in your main screen. Uh, we'll pick up one of our calorie tracker app uh, just to show you the overall structure of the UI so you can look at view summary you can do view session uh, this is again a forked session so I can I can do what was done in the session I can review what was committed in the session uh, including my folder structure the configuration items and everything uh, I can also do a view session where it will list down all the steps we have completed to build that app and what was the final outcome um, on the same UI um, on, on the right hand side you'll see uh, deploy review option and even you can review the code option right so for now uh, the agents are all sleeping so i'm trying to wake up the agents let's review an app which i created yesterday uh, a simple mobile app um, let's wake up the agent and it gives you the complete deployment health check report we ran some of the pre-deployment health check when you go to deploy you get an option to run health check so you saw the outcome of the health check report uh, there uh, let's go back to the preview uh, as you click on the preview it will use expo service to create a preview on mobile you can uh, explicitly go to a mobile download expo go app and you can uh, preview it on the mobile itself uh, you can also preview it on the web uh, you just open a new tab and it will preview on the web um, if you look at the main ui you can attach files or templates or picture you can connect to, to your github repository i've connected to mine um, and if you go to uh, the multiple agents uh, emergent offer you there's a mobile agent so let's pick a mobile agent for now uh, ultra gives you almost 16k power of thinking you have the llm models you can use i'm using cloud 4.5 sonnet for now um, you can also connect your mcp servers uh, there are certain predefined mcp servers like superbase and notion you can create your own mcp server if you want to there's an option to create a new mcp server you can connect your mcp server um, so let's try to build a website uh, more of an e-commerce website selling merchandise uh, similar to a shopify right so it will set up a cloud environment to run your front end and back end uh, so it's going through the initial prompt and then it will ask you for a more detailed requirement what you want right from a payment integration user authentication features product management cataloging of your merchandise and all that stuff and i'll provide some inputs to it um, and we'll run it and let's see it will build now the front end as well as the back end as it goes through its uh, stuff it's doing its own stuff it's processing step by step you can review each of the step what it's doing currently from a front end and a back end development standpoint so you can uh, click on one of them and you can see like for instance i'm doing a compressive a comprehensive back end front end i can look at what commands were passed uh, for back end and front end setup um, there's some errors it is reporting so it is giving you how to correct those errors and it's doing its own thing and finally it will complete the development uh, of the entire e-commerce platform a full stack both the front end and back end you can deploy it uh, that's it from emergent thanks for watching the video follow my channel for more such videos and shorts have a wonderful day